Uh, from that minute beginning, it expands. So the point I'm wanting to make is that the expansion can go in the direction of wakefulness and sanity and uh, what Trump Rinpoche called warriorship, spiritual warriorship, which means really men and women um, connecting with their courage, their bravery, their basic sanity, their basic decency, their basic uh, tender-hearted bravery, as he called it. Um, well, it, there's always chaos, so let's just say it can go in the direction of violence and the direction of aggression or in the direction of sanity and non-aggression. And when he taught about fear, he uh, very clearly said that the only way to experience fearlessness was to know the nature of fear. That fear was not something that uh, we got rid of or that we cast out, but that we became uh, very intimate with and came to know so well that the journey of knowing fear, moving closer to fear, was in fact the uh, journey of courage, the journey of bravery. Coming to know the nature of fear as the basis, the very heart of fearlessness, without uh, it being heightened, then it just drives you, it uh, haunts you all the time. And in talking to people now who, uh, whose homes, have, they've had to move out of their homes, who, uh, who where their business, uh, the chance of losing their job is very great, or the income that they were depending on is uh, dried up, or uh, the multitude of ways that people are uh, ex feeling the ubiquitous nervousness around the, uh, f their financial insecurity and how widespread that is. Um, I guess you could say this is teaching that uh, is like the teaching that you need to be of benefit in the 21st century. You want to be comfortable, and so you scramble for ground. And often what that is, is blaming somebody else, striking out at somebody else, gossiping, slandering. They do it because the situation is, um, what they're feeling in the pit of their stomach is such a groundless, uh, insecure, uncomfortable, wide open, uh, nothing to hold on to, open-ended experience that they just want to find something um, to hold on to, something that represents security. And one of the biggest ways to do it, you know, along with entertainment, along with drugs and alcohol and all the other um, uh, ways we try to um, find some pleasure Along with that, one of the ways we also do it is to um, divide the world up into, uh, with our views and our opinions about how things should be and how things are supposed to be, and we hold tightly to those views and opinions. Face toward your fear, leap into your fear, and my favorite was a smile <laughs> at fear. But the main uh, lesson is, or the main teaching is, that you actually can stay with it. You actually can turn towards it. You actually can leap into it. Rather than it having it set off this chain reaction, the uh, fear itself is the vanguard of wisdom, or the vanguard of courage. Something arises as fear, and then what happens next? Does it go in the direction of aggression and striking out against yourself or others, or does it go in the direction of uh, confidence, the direction of uh, gentleness, the direction of courage and um, tender-hearted bravery? being open, simply being open 
to not just the comfortable, secure, pleasurable parts of life. We, we want to be open and uh, available for that, definitely. But the whole parts of ourselves and of the world that um, are uncomfortable and unpleasant, being open and receptive to that. Appreciating fear and the tenderness that underlies it as the basis of, um, of the way, actually, to connect with uh, fundamental sanity and fundamental goodness of ourselves and of other people. This meditation practice is the main key because that is training in staying present to whatever might arise. You sit down, you have an object of meditation, uh, which might be the, commonly as the breath, and uh, when your mind wanders off, you simply come back, but there's a sense of what Trumper Rinpoche always referred to as touch what's coming up and then let it go. So it's not like repress the difficult feelings, but actually touch them briefly and then let them go. Trumper Rinpoche used to say, uh, okay, now we're gonna meditate. Everyone take good posture. Be aware of your breath going out. Coming in, going out. Just awareness, uh, open awareness of your breath. And we do that for, you know, maybe 20 minutes or something and then And then he'd say, the only real meditation you did in that whole period was when I hit the gong at the end. <laughs> and come to know your fear so intimately. You sort of know its smell, its taste, its color, its texture. And you particularly begin to be very wise about knowing what it triggers in you. And all the different ways that you try to run away from the feeling, the emotion, the sensation of fear, to the degree that you begin to um, trust the pot potential that you and all other beings have to open up, to be wakeful, to be kind. To the degree that you have that, he said, when you turn toward your fear, when you move closer to it, you don't right away discover courage. He said instead what you discover is a kind of shaky, tender vulnerability. If fear is uh, challenging enough, and then the instruction is, turn towards it, and what are you going to discover? Vulnerability and the pain of tenderness and um, shaky tenderness, as Trump Rinpoche called it. Um, the te our basic tendency is not to uh, say, oh, good. <laughs> I can hardly wait to uh, uh, experience fear and then go into it and feel something even worse. Uh, Place the fearful mind, place your fearful mind in the cradle of loving kindness. And uh, suckle it or nurse it with the uh, profound, brilliant milk of doubtlessness. And in the cool shade of fearlessness, fan it with the fan of joy and happiness. No tenderness for ourselves um, translates as no kindness uh, no um, compassion, no mercy for others. Without justifying it or condemning it, this allowing is a process of being here all along, not just when we like how it's going. And as I say, instead of that making you more self-absorbed, it uh, makes you very decent, very sane, and very open to the world and other people.